souls and memories of the family. Charles Lovemo Mungoshi had died. Indeed, life is just but a shadow. One minute it is there, and the next it is gone. Charles Mungoshi's life was stolen from those who loved him before they could imagine it. His physical presence here on earth was unexpectedly taken away from the family and indeed the nation. Today is truly a sad day for all Zimbabweans. A giant, a veteran writer has fallen. Dr. Mungoshi has been writing for nearly half a century. This is a feat achieved by not so many. We have lost somebody who who was amazing as a writer, even just as a person, as a friend. Charles was a very close friend. My wife published him many, many years ago. He became a good friend. He often stayed with us and would write in our guest cottage. And so we've seen a lot of him over the years. Um, Wamungoshi Charles Takazu Anakwingu Andefu Chekutanga Chaiwa Chekuti Mudzimai Wabo JSS Takapinda na H Koro Kuzimuto Secondary School Kumashingo. As I look back, I'm just so very uh, disappointed to have lost them, to lose someone like Charles Mungoshi. But um, his time has come and gone, and it's the making of God, or the making of the Creator. There's not much we can do, except that now we begin to celebrate their lives. Uh, it was said for him to go this early. We still needed his wisdom. Dr. Charles Mgosh, Ikamba Remakamba. Hakaita basa guru chaisu. Born into a farming family in 1947, Charles Mungoshi was raised in Chivu, Manyene area in Zimbabwe. He died at the age of 71 after a long battle with a debilitating neurological condition. A distinguished and prolific writer, as well as an iconic author, his contribution to the world of literature will indeed never die. Asini makaya kuti kune zhinyori shawaka, zhinyori kwa shawaka tisira, tichasa ratine chekubata, chatino funga chiti wanawedu wakaramba wachifundis kwa mushikoro, wakaramba wachinzi kwa nezazo, zhichati batisira kuti tisare tine, tiri wanu, wane unu wao. Basa rawa mgoshi ya rina kupera pano nasi. Riliku ramba richingo yenda. Ticharamba tichingo verenga mabasa avo. And tibacha ramba wachingo tizizisa. And legacy yavo icharamba ichingo vepo. The creative industry, literature and Zimbabwe have lost a pillar. The literary giant has fallen. Today is truly a sad day for all Zimbabweans. A giant. A veteran writer has fallen. Mungoshi's work influence cuts across generations, continents, and cultures. Charles Mungoshi is one person who never discriminated people according to their whether region, tribe, race. He was just a friend of everyone. Until the time of his death, Dr. Mungoshi had published 18 books, including Waiting for the Rain, Ndiko Kupindana Kwa Mazuba, Makunungunu Maozamoyo, Inongovan Njake, and Coming of the Dry Season, with some of his pre-independence publications not in his name due to the colonial oppression back then. Some of the books that were written before independence or before 1985, he doesn't hold any copyrights to the work. And the writers, they've presented the issue. We are going to be looking into it because we think we want to explore ways of the transfer of some of the rights so that the artists themselves can benefit. Nevertheless, 
Dr. Mungoshi's literary prowess was greatest in the genre of short story writing. Starting with Coming of the Dry Season in 1971, a book that was subsequently banned by the Rhodesian government for its content that was deemed too political. He wrote books before the events that were banned. His recent struggles with his health are in some ways small compared to those struggles he had in those days against you know, a, a, a racist regime before him that didn't want to know and creating opportunities. People didn't know about really, didn't know African writers, but writers could write him. So I think we have a lot to celebrate. I think, I think like most of you, I'm not feeling like celebrating. Like many other artists, Mungoshi could also not be spared by piracy, a disease which has rocked the arts industry in Zimbabwe with the coming in of new technology. Representing the Zimbabwe Writers Union, Monica Cherum Pambawashe made a passionate plea to book publishers to consider the right to earn a living by deceased writers' families after the writers are gone. To our responsible ministries represented here and maybe the others, Vasipo. Dr. Charles Mungoshi has left his legacy. Vane Mabuku Avo Avakanyora, a lot of his works. But unfortunately, Generation Emma writers, Iwayo, Vaka affect Kwanekuti Digital Age, Yakazo Uya, Vaka Sungi, Wama contracts, Nema publishers. But right now, Dr. Charles Mungoshi's legacy can live on. His works can be republished digitally, but my copyrights, Akabat Kwanema publishers. So that the family can benefit. The ministry has committed itself to ensuring that it creates even an inter a ministerial sub team that will be looking into these issues because they also uh, involve the Ministry of Home Affairs and Cultural Heritage. It involves the ministry. Uh, the, the, uh, that is the one that is in charge of looking at all our acts. It's very important in the, in the copyright uh, office. So for us, it's about getting together. And 2019 is going to be one of the years where we, we, we look at the issue of uh, copyright, the issue of intellectual property from a complete different angle, cognizant also of the technological advancement. The issues of technological advancement are also uh, one other militating factors. How do we convert our books to be available online, for example? Albert Nyati encouraged the Zimbabwe Writers Association to take a leaf from the Zimbabwe Music Rights Association in protecting the legacy of writers as they are the custodians of Zimbabwean culture. Being a member of the Zimbabwe Writers Association and related associations in terms of writing. I think we are going to learn from what Zimbabwe Music Rights, uh, writers, uh, Zimbabwe Music Rights uh, uh, Association is doing. Because Zimbabwe Music Rights Association distributes uh, on an annual basis uh, well over 200,000 to members, to composers. I mean, I, minimum 200,000 plus. Um, I think in the writing fraternity, there the the leadership. There is something called Zimcopy. Zimcopy is an institution that is equal to Zimura. That is a, a brother, uh, a sister to Zimbabwe Music Rights, and I think that they are working on it. And I think that they should work a lot more with speed. Now we cannot continue losing money uh, to un unscrupulous um, pirates. It is very unfair. And I think that the president should know, um, and the management of the country should know, that uh, we bring in a very huge wealth uh, in terms of heritage to this country. After leaving school, Mungoshi worked with the Forestry Commission 
before he joined textbook sales. In 1975 to 1981, he worked at the Literature Bureau as an editor and also worked for the Zimbabwe Publishing House. From 1985 to 1987, Mungoshi was writer in residence at the University of Zimbabwe, and since then he has worked as a freelance writer, scriptwriter, and editor. Charles Mungoshi was the first African writer to be approved as a set book curriculum writer. He wrote books after independence that we struggled to get into the curriculum, and he was in fact the first African writer to be approved as a set book on the curriculum here. He, I, I think, he and Doug Woodsell discussed this issue of African writers, and, and Charles resolved that by saying, I'm a writer. He was an outstanding writer, and many of his books became set books which were studied in schools and both English and Shori. Mungoshi took the African oral tradition of storytelling around the fireplace to print. His legacy will always be a point of reference in future. He took the African oral tradition of storytelling around the fireplace to print in other media. In Zimbabwe, he leaves a rich, very rich heritage for us, for us his contemporaries, and more important for current and future generations. Basarava mgoshi ad nakupera pano nasi. Rirukuramba richingo yenda. Ticharamba tichingo verenga mabasavo. And bacharamba wachingo tizidzisa. His contribution to education will always be cherished. Importance of his contribution to the education sector in building the country. We know Charles as a writer. We know him as a creator. He was an editor, he was a mentor. Mungoshi was the founding director of the Zimbabwe International Book Fair. When the Arts Council is talking about honoring him, I think that's one of the things I'm going to suggest to the book fair people, is that we find a way to honor him also through the book fair. He was a writer and a teacher, which saw a number of young writers come through his mentorship. He was a founder, he was a founding director of the Zimbabwe Publishing House. And through that he contributed to literature and mentoring of other young writers. He never wanted to, he never wanted to reject a manuscript because he said everybody had something to say. Saka izoso, zaka ito otiwa kwa nise kugruma, maraita zaka wanda. Nekuti munu anga ane chidone vanu, endi munu anga achishikirika, ari open, ari accessible. Ndaka zidza kuti iko kuna wa mungoshi. Kana uchinyora, nyora zwa uno ziva. Kana uchinyora, shandisa mutauru wa uno ziva. Kana uchinyora, nyora zwa uno ntukisisa. Kwete kunyora zwe kufungi zira. Asiku nyora zwa uno ntukisisa. Zino vapasi pa kazika zika pe moyo wako. Na kutu ukanyora izo zo zwa kazika zika pe moyo wako. Zika zika pe moyo wako. Zika bata hu pa kazika zika pe moyo wako. Zika Kana uya achavo na kanoru mutambo. Wepa, wepa chiviti viti. Kana unga ba we mureti. Mungoshi was a multi-award winning novelist, poet, short story writer and actor who was internationally recognized and celebrated, which saw one of his poems curated by the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation as a permanent display of public art at their new headquarters in Seattle, Washington, the United States of America, in 2011. Mungoshi was also a radio and television drama actor. <laughs> Tingati yanga iri uwele shenga, shanguiti, munyaya, zokunyora, zinyoro, zoka siyana. Zinga fana nene ya tinoti pachima nonzi manovel. 
ne mitambo inonzi ma atoti ma plays uye zvine nyaya pfupi ne ne tembo vanga vari munhu zvakare haitamba mutambo pachake vaitamba mitambo ya powerless ma drama powerless aya vaitamba mitambo ye theater yokuikita vakadaro vaikita zvakare pa pa television saka zvirauti zvipo zvese zvishanga zvakaungana pa munhu umwe chete Charles made a mark. Charles is one of the people in Zimbabwean literature and culture who is known, I would say, certainly throughout the English-speaking world. I can't talk about Latin America or, or Southeast Asia, but Charles is a, is a name to reckon with. Um, we've lost a dear friend, um, a man who's left a wonderful legacy for Zimbabwe, and the more he is honoured and the more support we can give to his family, the better. Dr. Mungoshi was a two-time winner of the Commonwealth Writers Prize for Best Book in Africa. Through his two works for children's literature, he gave to Zimbabwe the two folk tale collections, starting with stories from a Shona childhood, and the second, titled One Day Long Ago, More Stories from a Shona Childhood. And for these works, he was invited to meet the Queen of England, Queen Elizabeth II. His literature that we can still read, it, it is, as the minister said, storytelling. He was a storyteller and he took his stories and wrote them down so they could be in books to be read by people on the buses. So I think it's quite appropriate that they now be digital because people on the buses are reading, reading poems. In 2003, Dr. Mungoshi was conferred with an honorary doctorate degree by the University of Zimbabwe after winning multiple awards, which include Zimbabwe's 75 best books, where he appeared in the top five list in both the Shona and English categories. Wa Mungoshi Pawakapua doctorate, honorary, honorary doctorate, Muna 2003, University of Zimbabwe. Takatu mwane department re English ku University of Zimbabwe raicheyi wa pangwa yo yangari sachi garo ndi Dr. Rino Juarara. Takatu mwa wachirere wa maona wachitaura na wava ambe wariku uyunisa panengua ino neni tika uya ticheza kutaga kuti zvizva tikaunganidze pamusoro penhorondo yeupenyu wavamungoshi wavamungoshi kuti wakwanise kunyatsoremekedzwa wavamungoshi ku department re english kana kuti re chirungu ku university of zimbabwe zvinyorwa zvawo chero mwana upi anopfura nemu department of english pa university of zimbabwe anenge achizofunda nekuverenga zvinyorwa zvavamungoshi Mungoshi was a humble person and those who knew him say he knew no tribe as he would treat everyone with the same treatment and respect they deserved Vamungoshi zvakare ndoda kuyeuka kuti munhu akanga asinga zvise apa apa vamungoshi vaiswa nevamwe kuti saizvo zvi department reku use it ndo rakatozoti ah munhu akakosha uyu munhu ashanda uyu regerativa pechigaro ichi vakapiwa zvakare recognition ku great zimbabwe university asi munhu aizvitsvaga izvozvo and uye chero chitaura navo ndichiri kuziva kumashuru uko ndichitanga ku kuitao chido chekuda kuva munyori ndichitochika kana kushika pavari vana mukomaro njundura moya nana vamungoshi nana chirere nana dr tsodzo asi munhu akanga akasununguka wokuti vaingotaura newe vagoto kupo chiremerera iwo chitochika kuti ah ndivo vamungoshi era uh, Charles Mungoshi is one person who never discriminated people according to their whether region, tribe, race. He was just a friend of everyone. Dr. Mungoshi was husband to the popular 90s actress Jesse Mungoshi, known as Neria, in the film by the same name. A rare and unique family where husband and wife were all artists, it didn't end there as the couple's eldest son, Farai, and Charles Jr. are also writers in their own capacities. Be comforted. 
in knowing that you were born in a family of extreme talent, your father was a literal giant. Your mother, Jesus, is known international as Neria. I take pride and comfort in the knowledge that Mongoshi family continues to be active in literature and the arts. Rambai Makadar. The Chikomba West Political Administration had planned to celebrate the great works of Dr. Mungoshi while he was still alive. The late music icon, Dr. Oliver Mtukudzi, had pledged to support the event. Isune vamwe, takafunga nya eyo kuti kashinji, vanu vano pembeza magamba, achinge atisia. Nya eyo taka atichida ndi kuti azui goni oere, kutiti pembeze magamba edu vanwa vano vakuno vakabudirira nezvimwe zvipo zvaiva nazo vachiri vapenyu tabvumirana kudaro takainda ku rumende tikavati chishanda na reverend masana vavari mu ministry yaikanga ichisumudzira zvinhu zvetsika ne ne nyaya dzezvinyorwa takava ono kushanda na va mr mari vavari ku arts council Ivo ne vamwe vandaya vanavo ku ministry takaisa committee yanga ichida kupata ni pasa iroro takaona omusangano watakaita na mai mungoshi tichida kuti vemuri vave opa committee i mai mungoshi vakazotipwa kuti tive tinoshanda na farai unova mumwe mwana wava mungoshi takaita urongwa Urongwa waizo sanganisa kuti kuitwe mutambo mukuru kuno kumanyene mutambo waizo uisa vanyori vaya vanodetemba vaimbi nevamwe vane mitambo yakasiyana siyana ndiri kurangarira kuti nguva iyo takata kwanisa zvikare kuvimbiswa ne mushakabvu va Oliver Mtukudzi kuti vaizo uya kuno kumanyene vachitungamirira vamwe vaimbi kuti vabatane panyaya yekuti chipembedze However, due to his illness, the event failed to materialize. Mutambo uyu hauna uzo kwa nisa kuitika. Kashinji, nenya ya yukuti papa kuita utizimuingua. Makomiti members emuri kunyangewa mai mgoshi. Taatisinga cha kwa nisi kusangana. Taita deti rata sangana. Urugwele wupuri ramberi. Nguwe taiti tijisangana. Wotu wakuta kumboinda na wakwa kati. Saka zuinu zataka ramba tichingo vere ingira, tichingo vere ingira, tichingo vere ingira. Zuisina kuzoitika. Nukutu watisia. Asindi novi imba kuti. Se chidocha taati nacho. Seva na wakuno kuchikomba. Uyene chidocha achine muri avo. Kutitipembe ze basaravo. Tinofunga kuti ticha ungana zvekare tigona kuti zvazvadai chidocha tati nacho tikachipfudza mberi se on the hero status people had this to say ni ndanga ndi sipo pakaita pakaita namoi ndakasvikawo nezuro nda kutozo tirega indi tevere kana kwa harari andina kwanisa kusvika saka andinga kuni kuvataurira kuti pane zvakamboitwa here I think a person like him and a guy called Mayford Svanda in Davenzles Coco should have been considered for heroism in terms of writing, in the writing fraternity. Um, because when you win awards, in your country, but even beyond your country, it shows how much you have represented your country outside or within, among your people. So perhaps uh, some kind of, even posthumously, some kind of heroism should be, celebra it should be celebrated in some big way. Mungoshi's writings were more than a sermon, and they had a spiritual element in them. How many of us read these books and put a spiritual element into it. I for one I should I should be open. I never put a spiritual element into those books. But we had a priest who looked and analyzed those books and says there is no greater sermon than what Dr. Charles Mungoshi 
created over his life. Amazing. And it shows how, not just academical, but the body of knowledge that exists in the work that uh, Dr. Charles Mungoshi created. His work was consumption not only for Zimbabwe, but also the entire globe. His works were thus internationally recognized. We have lost yet another great man, great artist, who has impacted differently uh, in this country, in this nation, and in the whole uh, in the whole world, because some of his books had actually been translated into other languages. His writings were a living guide for many. Likewise, Chief Nyoka took time to remind mourners of what a black Zimbabwean is. Chief Nyoka condemned the way educated young people are looking down upon their culture. Chief Nyoka advised the people of Zimbabwe to be mentally independent. This is a cruel world in which we live. As if Charles' death was not enough for the Mungoshi family, Mbuya Mungoshi, his mother, died exactly a week after the death of Charles. She was also buried in Manyene village. 
The world will forever be grateful to Mbuya Mongoshi, who gave us Charles, the master of literature.